Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is October the 20th, 2016, 2015. I'm already starting to jump a year. 2015 at 9.46 in the morning. I'm just out and about doing some errands this morning. I thought I'd uh, turn the camera on and uh, do a little vlogging. I tried to do this yesterday, but... Uh, my replay xd i think the power mic i think the batteries have finally run down on it i've only had that for three years now i'm gonna have to check them when i get home so i've got the uh, sony action cam on top and i'm gonna try this uh i got a uh cool cam uh, I've had it a while back. I've been having problems with it, but I'm going to try it one more time to see if it'll do the funnel view right there. And it may be a picture-in-picture, -picture or it may not be, depending on if it works or not. So, yeah, i got a few things to talk about today. Not a general topic, per se, but uh, I have some news i'd like to share with you guys uh, update actually okay first off uh, i went to the doctor uh, and got my last series of knee shots and so we discussed having a uh, full knee replacement on my left knee if you follow me on facebook you already know that but if you don't use the the big social media monster I am going to have a knee replacement done on the 28th of December. I want to keep in tradition with my last major operation to do it at the last part of the year. So I will be out of work for three months, uh, depending on the healing and everything. But uh, on this time, I have a uh, I have my weight bench, which has a leg lift machine, and uh, I have a treadmill. So with the physical therapy that I'll be getting, I'll also do some at home to try to speed up my recovery. So hopefully it'll be less than three months. So I get that on the 28th of December because uh, I wanted to do it in between Christmas and New Year's just because of the simple reason that Julia is getting older and now she's walking everywhere and... Um, she will enjoy Christmas a lot more this year than she did last year. Of course, she was just a, a little tight last year. So she'll, but uh, the next year when she turns two and a half, then she'll really enjoy Christmas. It's always, it's always uh, good to watch the wonderment of a child's eyes at Christmas time. So. And that's when I'm going to have it on the 28th of December. So when it gets closer, around, I'm sure I'll be posting some more videos and, and stuff up before then. I would like to go ahead and qualify for the Polar Bear Challenge. I know I won't be doing that many rides, but still I would like to qualify before I go under the knife. So uh, I'll be keeping you guys updated on that. I can't. Uh, this is not a. This is a non-modular helmet, so I can't flip it up or anything to uh, talk to you guys. But uh, you see me. I hope if it if that uh, action cam, cool cam comes out, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'm having a lot of problems with my computer at home. It's um, an HP uh, running Windows 7. I haven't upgraded or anything on that one. And I'm getting a uh, boot error message. So I looked online yesterday and uh, it, I did a diagnostic on it. It shows that the cable, that it's not connected to the hard drives. So when I'm gonna go by and get some canned air and blow all that stuff out and check all the 
cables, make sure, pull them out and put them back in to make sure that they're connected and then put it back together, see if that will fix my problem. Uh, so that's on my plate for today. I have to go to the dump and you know, all the stuff and then get ready for work for Wednesday and Thursday, then off the weekend. I was, uh, I completely forgot about the new official trailer for the new Star Wars movie coming out December 18th. And I saw it on Good Morning America today. And a, quite a few theaters are pre selling those tickets for that Star Wars movie. And it just amazes me that people would actually do this. But this, yeah, they would. They have, uh, uh, pre-sold the tickets and they've already come up on eBay if you want to purchase these tickets just for a uh, slight markup there are tickets out there for 500 starting at $500 and a thousand dollars to see the new Star Wars movie now I'm all for free enterprise and everything but uh, <laughs> Really? Okay. I guess they're out there. So I guess they'll they'll get what they want for it, I guess. I, I, I can't see it personally myself because I'm just... <laughs> it's just funny to me. I'm sorry. It's just funny that people would actually pay that to, to see a movie, you know. But uh, I plan on seeing it. Uh, we, we have a tradition at the Netherton household on a Christmas Eve to go watch a movie. And it looks like that Star Wars will be the one that we watch this year. I don't think we uh, watched one last year, but usually uh, around Christmas time is when the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings movies came out and we usually watched that one that was out near December. We did uh, one, two, and three and then the other couple of ones that come out, The Hobbit and uh, Fighting That Smog and whatever it was. And I think we've done that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll probably see the Star Wars movie uh, this Christmas season. All right, let's see. What else? Um... That's really about it uh, that I've got today. Like I say, not much, not much uh, to talk about, really. Oh, I'm glad that uh, I've got a, a lot of uh, comments on the dark side videos, especially the one that I put the camera underneath. And uh, I was real impressed with that. So that turned out good. I was, I was pleased about that. So that was cool. Let's see. I, you know, of course, after I turn the, you know, cut this video short or cut it off or whatever, I'll think of something. So, uh, yeah, that'll be my luck. Well, uh, let's, let's talk about the weather. It uh, looks like fall has fell. Uh, we had our first frost the other morning. And I rode to uh, Farmers yesterday for the retirement breakfast, and it was like 31, so I had to bundle up and uh, like I usually do. And it uh, looks like the grass has stopped growing. I probably have one more cut left of the season and then I'll be uh, putting up all the getting the lawn equipment winterized and uh, be the end of the cutting season for this year. Depending on my uh, how this knee is going to do and everything so I may next year I may hire someone to come and cut the cut the yard 
But if it does well and everything, then I'll just go ahead and keep on, you know, cutting it myself. There's no sense of hiring somebody to do it when you can physically be able to do it. And it's just a, you know, it's just a pain in the pain in the took us. But uh, you know, it's just part of having a home and part of being a responsible homeowner. That's just what you do. You cut your yard. You cut your yard by the car. Oh, I really say it. Well, Halloween is uh, fast approaching. Hope you, if you celebrate that uh, holiday, hope you got enough candy for the trick-or-treaters that'll come by your house and, and all the little cute ghosts and goblins and and everything. We went to Walmart last uh, weekend. I was off, and we went ahead and got the Halloween candy for them. And Julia, this will be her first trick or treat. Uh, Ashley and Kevin's gonna come by and um, have her trick or treat in the neighborhood like Ashton did. So that'll be that'll be cute. And my daughter Ashton, she had a tonsillectomy uh, a week ago yesterday. A week ago was past Monday. She's had strep throat uh, numerous times. And the doctor finally said, well, you need to get those out. And and nowadays, they did it on an outpatient basis. So when I had mine out when I was 20, excuse me, when I was 27, I had to stay the night in the hospital. But uh, now it's on an outpatient basis. But she's had strep so much that they take his claw thing. That's just what Kevin says. I don't know the procedure. I never did look it up. They take his claw thing and grab the tonsil itself and just make an incision to cut the tonsils out. But they've been infected so many times that they came off in clumps. So it was a longer uh, procedure than what they anticipated. But uh, she's recovering nicely. I think she's back to work. She went back to work yesterday, so she was out of work a week. And nowadays they have this uh, hydrocordone or... Oxy, no, I think it's hydrocortone, um, acetaminophen, in liquid form, and so she had to get that prescription filled, and she's on that uh, HSA high deductible insurance, and this bottle alone, I think it was 400 milliliters. This is, you know, like a pretty good sized medicine bottle. That cost her. A hundred and forty dollars. Hundred and forty dollars. I couldn't believe it. Going like, really? That gum. And uh, I guess it's awesome pain medications. All I know, but uh, still, hundred forty bucks. Golly, Wally. That's a lot of money for pain meds. I don't see how these pharmaceutical places sleep at night. I know it takes a, a lot of money for development and manufacturing and everything else, but somebody's making a killer profit off that. It's just, you know, it's just not, to me, it's just not right. Not another thing of free enterprise, but, I mean, you have to have it or deal with the pain. So, there you have it. Mm, excuse me. There's Nissan Manufacturing. Where they build all the Nissans. No, they don't build all of them. Whoa. Let's get out of this guy's way. Thank you very much. Uh... They build the Sentra. Uh, I don't even know what they built there now. Uh, they make the. I think they make the Leaf there. I don't even know. But anywho, um, that plant's been there since the uh, mid '80s. Because I, wow, 
I watched him build it. That's a big, they employ a lot of people. A lot of people there. So it's a, it's a big place. Got a lot of family dental care of Smyrna. A lot of construction down through there. I'm going to uh, Dollar Tree right now before I head home. I got to pick up a thing or two at uh, the Dollar Tree. Uh, I guess I should have turned there. Nah, I was going this way. All right, well, I've rambled enough, I guess. I don't know if all this will be on the video or not, but if it is, um, it may be a two-parter. <laughs> I've been jibber-jabbering along a long time. So, I guess I'll catch you guys later. This is a Smyrna Cowboy here in Smyrna, Tennessee. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.